Welcome to our in-depth exploration of the psychological workings underlying the no-contact rule, a strategy often hailed as a cornerstone of post-breakup recovery. In this comprehensive analysis, we'll navigate through various dimensions of this rule, shedding light on its rationale, debunking common myths, and delving into its profound psychological impact. By the end of this journey, you'll gain a deeper understanding of how the no-contact rule operates and its implications for personal growth and healing. Number 1. Understanding the No-Contact Rule Let's start by dissecting the essence of the no-contact rule. At its core, this strategy entails a deliberate cessation of all communication with an ex-partner following a breakup. While the specific duration may vary from individual to individual, the overarching goal remains consistent – to create a safe space for emotional healing and introspection. By imposing boundaries and distancing oneself from the ex-partner, Proponents of the rule aim to foster personal growth and facilitate the process of moving on. The rationale behind the no-contact rule lies in the concept of psychological reactance, a phenomenon in which individuals experience a sense of discomfort or resistance when they perceive their freedom or autonomy to be threatened. By initiating a period of silence and withdrawal, advocates of the rule believe that can trigger a sense of loss or longing in the ex-partner potentially prompting them to reinitiate contact in an attempt to regain what they perceive to be lost. Number 2. Debunking the Myths Before delving further into the intricacies of the no-contact rule, it's crucial to dispel common misconceptions surrounding its efficacy. While anecdotal accounts of extreme reactions from ex-partners abound, ranging from incessant calls and messages to grand gestures of reconciliation, it's essential to not conflate outliers with the norm. Contrary to popular belief, our research suggests the majority of individuals undergoing the no-contact rule experience silence from their exes rather than a flurry of desperate attempts at reconciliation. It's important to recognize that the absence of communication during the no-contact period does not necessarily signify a heightened desire for reconciliation on the part of the ex-partner. Instead, it may reflect a variety of factors, including their own emotional processing, respect for boundaries, or simply a lack of interest in rekindling the relationship. By dispelling these myths, we can approach the no-contact rule with a more nuanced understanding of its potential outcomes. Number 3. The Power of No Contact Despite the misconceptions surrounding it, the no-contact rule wields a profound influence on both the individual implementing it and the dynamics of the post-breakup relationship. At its core, implementing the no-contact rule is an act of self-respect and self-preservation. It signifies a refusal to settle for anything less than one deserves and a commitment to prioritizing emotional well-being above all else. In taking this stance, individuals reclaim their power and agency in the aftermath of the breakup, setting the stage for personal growth and healing. Moreover, the no-contact rule serves as a catalyst for introspection and self-discovery. By creating distance from the ex-partner, individuals gain the opportunity to explore their own thoughts, feelings, and aspirations without external interference. This period of solitude and reflection can be instrumental in fostering emotional resilience and gaining clarity about one's values and priorities. Number 4. The Psychological Impact Delving deeper into the psychological ramifications of the no-contact rule, it becomes evident that its effects extend far beyond the realm of surface-level interactions. Cutting off communication with an ex-partner is not merely a strategic maneuver. It's an act of self-care and self-preservation. By asserting boundaries and prioritizing emotional well-being, individuals send a powerful message to themselves and others about their worthiness of respect and consideration. Moreover, the no-contact rule serves as a crucible for personal growth and transformation. It challenges individuals to confront their emotions, confront their fears, and confront their desires head-on fostering resilience and self-reliance in the process. By embracing the discomfort of solitude, individuals pave the way for profound self-discovery and empowerment. Number 5. Navigating the Emotions 
Of course, navigating the no-contact rule isn't always smooth sailing. It's natural for individuals to experience a range of emotions during this period, from sadness and longing to anger and frustration. These emotions are an integral part of the healing process and should be acknowledged and processed in a healthy manner. It's essential for individuals undergoing the no-contact rule to lean on their support systems, whether it's friends, family, or a therapist, for guidance and validation. Engaging in self-care activities that nourish the mind, body, and soul can also provide solace during this challenging time. Ultimately, it's crucial to remember that healing is a gradual process, and it's okay to take things one step at a time. Number 6. The Role of Attachment Styles Attachment plays a significant role in shaping individuals' responses to the no-contact rule. Those with avoidant attachment styles, characterized by a strong desire for independence and autonomy, may initially welcome the silence as it aligns with their need for space and freedom. They may view the no-contact period as an opportunity to assert their independence and focus on their own needs and desires. On the other hand, individuals with anxious attachment styles marked by fear of abandonment and a tendency to seek reassurance from others may struggle with the uncertainty and ambiguity of the no-contact period. They may interpret the lack of communication as rejection and intensify their efforts to reconnect with their ex-partner in a bid for reassurance and validation. Understanding the role of attachment styles can provide valuable insights into individuals' behaviors and responses during the no-contact period. By recognizing the interplay between attachment styles and coping mechanisms, individuals can adopt a more empathetic and compassionate approach to navigating the complexities of post-breakup healing. Number 7. The Long-Term Impact Even after the no-contact period concludes, its effects continue to reverberate in individuals' lives, shaping their outlook on relationships and personal growth. By prioritizing emotional well-being and investing in self-discovery during this period, individuals lay the groundwork for healthier future relationships, whether with their ex-partner or someone new. The lessons learned during the no-contact period about boundaries, self-respect, and resilience serve as invaluable guideposts for navigating future challenges and opportunities. By embracing the journey of healing and self-discovery, individuals emerge from the breakup stronger, wiser, and more empowered than ever before. In conclusion, the no-contact rule isn't just a temporary strategy for managing post-breakup emotions. It's a transformative journey of self-discovery and empowerment. By embracing the silence and prioritizing emotional well-being, individuals set themselves on a path towards healing and personal growth. As they navigate the complexities of the no-contact period, they gain invaluable insights into themselves and their relationships, paving the way for a brighter and more fulfilling future. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the psychology of the no-contact rule. Remember to stay resilient, stay compassionate, and above all, stay true to yourself. Until next time, take care and keep thriving. If you found value in today's video, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips about attraction, masculinity, and personal development.